I'm gonna show you how to play the minor scale, this cool movable shape, one of the most popular shapes on the guitar for the minor scale. I'm gonna show you some cool tips along the way, ways that you think about it, practice it. Let's dive in, can't wait to show you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the actual pattern that we're gonna be discussing today. It's gonna to be in A minor. This is a full A minor scale and the most common way of playing it on the guitar. It's an immovable shape as well. So I'm gonna go uh, fifth fret E, fifth fret E, seventh fret E, eighth fret E. That's three notes. On the A string, we've got the same. Five, seven, eight. D string, we've got two notes, fifth and seventh fret. By the way, that gives us our octave, so that's one full run of that scale. Now we're gonna go up another octave, fourth fret of the G, fifth fret of the G, seventh fret of the G. That's a weird one. That little. first, second, fourth if you'd like while you're running through this pattern it's fine or reach for that third finger if you'd like. Either way that next note, the fifth fret of the B string is next, followed by the sixth fret B string and eighth fret. So finally on the high E string, since low E is high E, it's five, seven, eight. Bring it back just to really helps to seal that memory of that shape. Okay, so that's the pattern. And this is again in A minor where I was just kind of playing and jamming. So my tip for you is to get that memorized and to do what I just kind of demonstrated almost right now, which is taking it one string at a time. Just start jamming that and then bring it up. to the D, right, and then bring it up to the, and so basically work it one string at a time to where you've got it memorized, work it up and then back, okay? My other tip for you is going to be to uh, connect it with minor pentatonic. I'd recommend learning minor pentatonic first. If you haven't done so already, it is five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. If you haven't learned that yet, do that first. It's definitely the way that I teach my students. And bringing it back. So that is the best way to start. That gives you the bones. That you can use for anything, any genre, anywhere. Uh, and that always sounds good. So you're kind of almost adding the extra notes here. Extra note. Extra note. Extra note. Extra note. Right? So in the realm of the minor scale, you're adding that two and the six back in, or the major scale would be you know, four and a seven. But the point is, is you're adding only two notes back, so you've got a full seven note scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and again. So you got those octaves, okay? So I definitely met, uh, would recommend um, kind of lacing it over that minor pentatonic, and that gives, uh, me that next tip is to basically when you're jamming and getting used to this, I'd say stick with pentatonic. You're seeing me do that in the jam session. Uh, I'll play pentatonic for the most part and then sprinkle those in. It's usually just a nice, good, safe bet to start to bring those in. And you know, your ear will start to pick up where to put it. kind of sprinkle those in and typically the jazzier the track the more I can kind of sprinkle those in. It's a little messy but you get it. Uh, the basic uh, kind of premise is just to kind of sprinkle those in at first and you'll start to learn how to use those a little bit more. The real secret is chord tones and so that's not the video we're gonna go uh, deep into chord tones today but it's another day another time I got a product for that. All right so and then what I'd like to talk about is now moving this thing. Okay, to really master it, you gotta be able to move it, have the freedom to do it wherever. So we're in A, so there's the root right there. So I'm in A minor scale. All 
also there as well. There, there. Right? So if I wanted to play in, say, C minor, it's A, A sharp, B. Boom. Same pattern. All the same stuff. So that's what's nice about this movable shape. So you can play it anywhere. something in C minor. So my final tip is to start to bring in some of those licks you learned in pentatonic, right? Like this one. Right? All that kind of... It's, kind of, it's like more bluesy stuff, but it still works for stuff like this. Right? Start to bring in those licks. And then have a little fun here. You saw me experimenting with bending to uh, different pitches, right? So... It's always nice to bend. That's what the guitar, one of the main advantages of this instrument is you can bend to notes. I know which one I prefer, right? Right? How cool is that? So let me demonstrate a little bit more. So basically start moving it around, bringing in some of those old licks, and then also start to get a little bit experimental and kind of doing some different bends and accessing the notes that uh, you can kind of see within the pattern. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon member. And shoot me a little message or comment if you want some lessons. I'm still taking on students, of course, and doing courses and releasing new products all the time especially stuff that talks about this concept here. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.